Hey, I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and I'd like to show you guys how to install your new two-inch economy real wood blind. Yeah, this is a real two-inch wood blind. So once you've unpacked your blinds uh, from the package, uh, you'll, your blind will look something like this, of course, depending upon the color, with your lift cord on the right side and your tilt cords on the uh, left side. Now, once you have the blind unpacked and you located all the hardware that we've put in there, we're going to ask that you just place this blind off to the side for a moment and locate your mounting brackets. And the mounting brackets look a little something like this. And these are universal brackets. Universal meaning that they can be used for either an inside mount or outside mount. Have the little doors in the open position. Okay, these are the doors that open and closed. Uh, there is a left side and right side, however. Your left side bracket, which has the opening on the right, and your right side bracket, which has your opening on the left hand side. Okay, a couple different ways to mount these blinds. One would be outside. If you chose the outside mount and you, and you prefer to mount your blinds to the outside of the window trim like so, we're going to ask you to just mount the brackets exactly like they have them right now. And what I'd like you to do is to pre-drill two holes, okay, one on top and one on the bottom, before putting your screw into the hole so that you don't split and crack your window molding. Now if you chose to mount the blinds outside up above the molding, then you can easily put the bottom of the bracket on top of your molding just like so, align the outside of your bracket with the outside of the trim, and order the optional spacer block that goes behind the bracket. Okay, If you select that when you're purchasing your blinds, there's no additional charge, and what that'll do is it'll push the bracket out far enough away from the wall so that when you're operating your blinds it doesn't interfere with the window molding. Okay, so that's the outside mount. Now I'm going to show you how to mount your blinds inside the window frame. The placement of the blind into the brackets is the same regardless if you're mounting inside or outside. So we're just going to mount your brackets inside the frame and then I'll show you how the blind gets uh, placed into the brackets. Uh, the first thing I'd like you to do is take one bracket and bring it up into the window frame like so with the door in the open position. We're going to drive one screw straight up into the top of the window frame. Now you've noticed I've put this bracket as far back as it'll go into this window frame. This particular frame is about three and a half inches deep, which will just about accommodate uh, the blind and the valance and it'll give it a nice recessed look. Uh, if you don't have as much mounting depth, that's okay. The blind will just stick out a little bit, so you don't have to have as much mounting depth. Um, the next bracket will get mounted the same way. We're going to drive one screw straight up into the top of the window frame, and then we're going to add an additional screw on the side uh, just to hold the bracket in place. Uh, and remember, we want those little mounting doors in the open position because the next thing we're going to do is place the blind into the bracket. Okay, so once you have your blind secured, which they are right now, we're going to pick up our blind one more time. And I would like to show you one last step before we actually mount the blind. That's the installation of the valance clips. Okay, if we don't do this now, we won't be able to get these on once the blind is installed. So we're going to take the, the valance clips, which come uh, with the blind. These are your valance clips that holds the valance in place. And we're going to look for an empty spot inside the head rail, somewhere where we're not going to interfere with moving strings or any moving parts. Um, here we can either mount, put it here, we could put it here, so let's just go all the way over to the right, we'll put one here, and we'll put one all the way over to the left, this is a good blank spot over here, where nothing will interfere. Okay, once we've done that, we can bring the whole blind up to the brackets, and make sure your doors are all the way open, because then the blind will fit nice and easily right into the mounting brackets. Right, there's one, there's the other. Sometimes it needs a little extra help to get in there. Okay, now we've got it in there. Um, the next step is to just make sure that it's aligned uh, from side to side. If we need to uh, move it left or move it right, we want an equal amount of space between the slats on the left side and right side. Okay, once we have that, we're going to close the door on each side and make sure that you hear the little door snap into place. Okay, that means that the door is closed tightly and it won't accidentally open when you're op when you're operating your blinds. Okay, once you have those doors closed, for all intents and purposes, your blind is officially installed. Okay, you can lower the blinds by unlocking the cord by moving it to the left, and then you can tilt your louvers by pulling on the rotation cords or the tilt cords on the left hand side. 
Now, once your blind is installed, the last step would be to take the valance that comes with the blind. Okay, this is the beautiful finished mounting real wood valance. And that gets placed right into the valance clips, just like so. We're going to simply place that into the clip on each side. We're going to push the bracket forward so that it attaches to the valance. And now you've completed the, the installation of your two inch real wood blind. And this particular blind, by the way, is in the color oak. Uh, has a real nice finish. You can see the wood grain and everything. But if you do have any additional questions on how to install uh, your wood blinds, please feel free to call me. I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and thanks for watching.